color, the wavelengths corresponding to that. Then the complementary color is exhibited. For example, if a species absorbs violet radiations, lambda equal to 400 to 435 nanometer, and it appears yellow green because this is the complementary color of violet. Since the energy gap between HOMO and LUMO for F2 is less than that for O2, hence F2 shows absorption in violet part of the visible spectrum and it appears light yellow green gas. Question number two. Whose ionization energy will be more, that of oxygen atom or oxygen molecule? And why? The answer is, we know that ionization energy is the energy needed to remove the most loosely bonded electron in the gaseous atom or molecule in ground state to infinity. So let us compare the energy levels of most loosely bonded electron in these two species. Look at the vertical energy level diagram drawn for O2 earlier. We see that most loosely bonded electron must be in HOMO which are two unpaired electrons so that anyone can be removed to infinity. But the HOMO level consists of anti-bonding pi 2 py type of orbitals whose level is certainly higher than the 2p level of oxygen atom. Hence it is easier to remove an electron from O2 than from oxygen atom. Therefore, ionization energy of oxygen atom is more than the ionization energy of oxygen molecule. Similarly, you can decide for nitrogen molecule and nitrogen atom. Now, we are in a position to discuss energy level diagrams for B2, C2 and N2. We had not considered these three molecules in the sequence that is just after BE2. Let us see why we did it. Suppose we draw the configuration of B2 on the pattern of O2, then it will be B2 equal to sigma 1s2, sigma antibonding 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma antibonding 2s2, sigma 2px2, and thereafter set of degenerate orbitals pi 2py0, pi 2pz0 because total number of electrons with the B2 molecule will be 10 as atomic number of boron is 5. Well, if this configuration is correct, then B2 molecule must be a diamagnetic species. Well, actually, it's a paramagnetic molecule having paramagnetic moment equivalent to two unpaired electrons. Hence, above configuration must not be correct. There must be some change in the energy order of molecular orbitals. Yes, there is a change. And the change is that sigma 2px molecular orbital now occupies a place above pi 2py and pi 2pz. The reason behind this change is that energy gap between sigma 2s and sigma 2px molecular orbital in B2, C2 and N2 molecules 
is so small that they can merge with each other to form two new molecular orbitals this is a different type of hybridization applicable to molecular orbitals in this type of mixing the energy gap between the two molecular orbitals or rather the two new hybrid molecular orbitals increases thus we can say that now sigma 2s which becomes sigma 2s px molecular orbital and sigma 2px which becomes sigma 2px s molecular orbital with the increased energy gap between them sigma 2s px now occupies a place below the original level of sigma 2s and sigma 2px s occupies a place higher than the original sigma 2px but this new level is now above the level of pi 2py and pi 2pz similar interaction takes place between sigma anti bonding 2s and sigma anti bonding 2px so that sigma anti bonding 2s px a hybrid orbital goes down and sigma anti bonding 2px s another hybrid orbital goes up but this does not bring any change with respect to other molecular orbitals for the sake of convenience we shall retain the original symbols of molecular orbitals and not the hybrid symbols therefore the increasing energy level order for b2 c2 and n2 will be starting from sigma 1s next is sigma anti bonding 1s then sigma 2s then sigma anti bonding 2s now comes a set of two degenerate pi orbitals that is pi 2py and pi 2pz next is sigma 2px thereafter comes a set of degenerate orbitals pi anti bonding 2py and pi anti bonding 2pz and finally sigma anti bonding 2px hence the correct configuration of b2 molecule will be b2 equal to remember we have to fill up only 10 electrons so this is sigma 1s2 sigma anti bonding 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma anti bonding 2s2 then comes its homo level pi 2py1 and pi 2pz1 obeying hunt's rule and finally there is a lumo level that is sigma 2px0 so that the bond order comes out to be 6 minus 4 upon 2 that's 1 and this molecule is paramagnetic with two unpaired electrons in it